What is up, everyone? This is video two of our hobby box rip for 2022 Don Russ UFC. And we split up this into two videos because there's 300 cards in total in this box. It does cost about two, 300 bucks. Got it at my local hobby shop. I think it's called South Bay Sports Cards in Lomita, California. Good place. Owner's really nice. Um, but we have five packs with 10 or 30 cards in each pack. What is it? Yeah, 30 cards in each pack, and we have five more, so 150. We're gonna go through the rest of them, see if we get anything. We haven't gotten a signature um, yet, but we did get the redemption for the signature, so I'm guessing that's what it is. And this is the signature. We got Mozar, Mozar, um, and it's a rated rookie signature hollow laser. I didn't realize it at the time, but I looked up the comps. The redemption card is going for 300, 320, so that was a good hit. Then, um, we got the Cortez on the first 150 to 190 or to 99, but it's a rated rookie. And Cortez just fought; she's uh, she she won her last fight, and I'm seeing that go for about 100 bucks. So that was cool. Um, the Robbie Lawler, Lawler, Wall, a big name or a decent name. Not not too much speculation with him. It's out of 10, and I thought this would be something, but um, I saw a card with select. That was no signature, but it was a gold, and it was out of 10. Basically the same picture. Um, at least it was just raising his hands for a victory, and it was out of 10, and it was going for 100, but I saw other ones that were like 225, 299, and they were going for like five bucks. So, not bad, but let's get into it. Thanks for, for joining me today. Hope you're having a good day or, or night, wherever it may be, and for spending some time with me. Uh, if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Just rip cards for fun. Um, not really for profit, but if we can flip something, awesome. But we're just going to go through these. So we got Joanna Wood. Let's see what these cards look like. I'm going to go fast to this video. Last one we took all 30 minutes to go through. We're still looking for a mem card. We are still looking, and I'm sure we're gonna get a bunch of doubles at this point. I don't know what the checklist is. Um, Kovic, I would assume he's gonna be the next, unless they get blow over the rematch, which they could because I went five rounds. Dillashaw, yeah, we're getting a bunch of cards that we've already got in the first one. Cards are nothing s spectacular. They're very thin cardstock. Not really any gloss on them too much. Ferguson. Steven, Wonder Boy, Thompson. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of a bunch of doubles so far. I'll, I'll, I would say like 90% of these we already got. There we go, Valentina, my female, my favorite female fighter, right now. Okay, we got a rated rookie and we got a good one. Ooh, we got a good one. So. We got, I have actually one of his cards being graded with PSA right now. We got Patty, the baddie, Pimlet. Rated rookie, so that's, that's cool. That's our, that's our best rated rookie so far. I don't know what the rookie class is for 2022. UFC, like I was saying in my first video, it's kind of hard for me to tell what are rookies, what aren't rookies. That was nice. Rough font. These are press proofs. Another press proof. We got a Cody coming up. And this one we haven't got. It's a blue laser. It's a blue laser, and blue lasers are out of 49. Cool looking card. Still not thick. But you can see right at the very bottom left, it says 22 out of 49. So not a bad hit. Cody's had a little trouble here recently. But he's one of those guys that, uh, bigger name. There we go with our Cody that in a top loader. I don't think I'm going to get 
that graded or anything, but we'll keep it protected. That's what I've liked so far about these cards is um, had a few numbered ones. So I thought these were part of the, um, this is a Marvel. I haven't seen these yet in this video, Max Holloway. But um, I thought these were part of the standard set because they don't have like a, the number just says a standard number on there, but it they're overlapping. So I'm assuming these are just inserts that don't have like, should say like CT for this crunch time, Usman should say CT for crunch time and then the number on the back, but it just has the number on the back. So they are, uh, looks like it is, they are inserts. She had a nice fight. She retired. Joanna. Joanna. Wei Li. I think she's going to be a champ. She's going to be a champ again. There we go. Going back to the standard. We got Aspen. Aspen Lad. Yeah, these are all, all doubles. This is the problem with having 300. Well, it's fun to rip. At this point now, we're not really looking at um, base cards. We're trying to see if we can get something numbered, a signature. I'm not really looking forward to the, the mem, but we should have a mem memorabilia card in these five packs. So maybe the checklist isn't that big <laughs> because we're only on pack number six and uh, the majority of these cards were all doubles. Unless there was some press proofs that I just didn't see. The press proofs look like the regular cards. A little hard to see. But um, yeah. Don't got anything thick in this this upcoming pack. Let's see what we got. Kanzat. Again, I'm big on him, but these aren't rookie cards now. Anderson Silva. I know his son fights for a promotion out here in Southern California. Whitaker. Charles Oliveira. Man, he's impressed me. Um, I keep thinking that, I keep picking the people that are going to fight him, like Michael Chandler or Justin Gaethje and uh, Dustin Poirier, and they end up not doing anything. Dominic Cruz, first Dominic Cruz. Calvin Cater's coming up on a fight. He had a nice outing last time. Perez here. More, more doubles. We got a Connor. So if you haven't seen these yet, these are the voices of the Octagon. So these are just the announcers. Let's see what the back looks like. Back looks like that. I think we got a Bisp Bisping on the last one. Paulo Costa. Haven't seen him in a while. That's press proof. Kane, Velasquez on the press proof. So it looks like they put the press proofs back to back. We got a Holly Holmes on the press proof. Oops. Put the press proofs in the insert pile. Okay, we got ooh, Joanna and Wei Lee. They just fought in the duos. So the duos is. So we've got in the back. Very nice. You can get variations of these uh, insert cards. We haven't got any in this hobby box yet. Max Holloway on the Craftsman. That's what the Craftsman's look like. A lot of color on the back, so it could be hard to grade if these were hits. The Retro Series, Chuck Liddell. White border makes it a little easier. Yeah, 
into it. Reboss. The AC just turned on, so you might hear a little background noise. Ooh, double champ. Newly minted Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier. Someone might be asking, why are we going through all these cards? Because some people might just want to see the different cards that maybe they're not looking to buy. If I'm going to open them up anyways, let's just have some fun. And if by an off chance I hit a major hit, it'd be cool to have on, on video. Just like that 101, that was, that was exciting. Granted, it was like 3 in the morning, so I had to be a little bit quieter the end of the day kids aren't home yet so got 6 p.m. we can do these things so if I get a big hit maybe I'll be I'll be loud this time I don't expect it but we still need a mem card let's see honestly this pack feels thicker so we're gonna leave that to last But uh, maybe that's the, the mem card. I don't have any UFC memorabilia cards. I have a few autos. Um, I did pick up a uh, a blaster box of this product just to see what it looked like um, the other day, and I got Brunson, the Brunson auto. This is one of my favorite fighters. I know. He had that ridiculous knockout against Ferguson recently, but he's one of my favorite ones. Just his uh, his talking game is crazy. Anthony Smith looking to get a title shot. Raya, Raya Faber. This one is an early stoppage with Derek Lewis. No, was it L Lewis or Rosenstrike? I think it was Rosenstrike, actually. Never mind. Sorry. Brian Ortega, that was one of the best fights that I've seen against Volkanovski. It was fun. That was a fun fight. I don't like how these cards get turned upside down, but there's so many of them. Frankie Edgar. Uh, I remember when I first started watching UFC, it was a card. Maybe you remember the card, but it was BJ Penn and I know Frankie Edgar. I don't know if they were facing each other, but that was my first ever UFC watch. I was kind of nervous about watching it because I was like, oh, I don't really like gore stuff. Carla Sparza, the champ. One of the most boring fights between her and Rose. I was really disappointed in that fight. Again, it's hard for me to criticize because I wouldn't do what they do. But as a fan, I honestly felt like no one should have got the belt <laughs> because it wasn't really a fight. Volkanowski, he's very impressive. Very, very impressive. Um, Sanhagen was also a, a fight that I saw that Sanhagen was very impressive, even though he took the L. There he is, Bruce Buffer on the Voices of the Octagon. I feel like Gone will be a champ. Light on his feet. Crazy. Here's another press proof. Another press proof. Ooh, we got a silver. And silvers are number 99. Gunnar Nelson, not who I was looking for, but Gunnar Nelson on the press proof. We'll take a numbered card. We will take a numbered card. And uh, even though this is probably a dollar, two dollars a card, I usually sleeve up my numbers just in case. There we go. Silver laser. Very cool. Robert Whitaker on the Marvels. I like the Marvel cards. This hobby box, I'm still kind of surprised. None of these, uh, Valentina, none of these insert cards have got any variation to them. Francis Ngannou on the Magicians. to the end of this pack still searching for our mem card we 
just had a chase, I believe, in the last pack. Yeah, I'm, I'm just interested. Johnny Walker recently saw him fight. I'm interested to see who the rookie class is because I'm not sure. You know, Cortez and uh, Patty were not bad uh, hits in the rookie class. Gillespie. Okay, we got two more packs. Two more packs and we are done with this hobby box. If you've had a, uh, a UFC hit recently that you're really proud of, put it in the comments. I'd like to hear what it was. UFC, I don't know where it ranks. It's one of my favorites. Baseball is my favorite by far, but I don't know, I love, I look forward to Saturdays, fight nights or cards and stuff. Got Kobe. Um, yeah, I, I like, it's just one that I don't, I don't watch with the kids, so my, my daughter will watch baseball with me. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like they need to watch fighting when they're eight years old or four years old. Nate, see when he fights again. And we got to the point where the cards got upside down again. Rob Font. Nothing thick in this pack, so maybe I was right on that. Calling that uh, the pack is their mem pack. Leon Edwards. Ooh, the new champ, Yuri. Yuri. I don't. Why isn't he a rookie? I know he's been in the game for a long time, but he's only had three UFC fights, right? The old DX champ, Rose. Okay, we got our rookies. Let's see what we got on these rookies. How did we get another one of the same guy? That's weird. So we got Ian Gary on the rookie. We already got one of these on the first five packs. Oh, I was going to say, we just got a jury, but this is a press proof. So cool, cool. Another press proof. Now we got a red. It looks like a red laser. So the red laser is numbered to 75. Okay, so reds are better than silvers. And we got a Derek Lewis. That's a scary, scary guy. Heavyweight. So we've seen what golds, we've seen what blues, and silvers, and reds are. But I don't think... I was surprised with the Cortez being... I know it's a rookie. I was surprised it's a hundred dollar card, so that was good. And I was also surprised by my signature one being... Um, the Redemption being as expensive as it was, so we... We made out actually on this box by Connor, Connor McGregor on the crunch time. On our duos here, we got a Dustin Poirier and a Connor McGregor. Those two. Connor seems to be making a lot of friends between him and Khabib and Dustin. Henry Cejudo. Cejudo seems to be helping a lot of fighters out right now. I feel like he's going to come back though, just money needs to be right. I think, who does he want to fight? I think he wants to fight. Is it Volk? I think it's Volk. Shea Devins. It's hard to, to know everyone in this thing because there's so many, so many fighters. And I try to watch as much as I can, but usually a card will take me about three days to get through if I'm not watching live. GSP, Ed Herman. This guy has killer leg kicks. Edson Barbosa. And our 
last two, Torres and Brandon Royval. Okay, we got our last pack, our final pack. Let's wish us luck. Here it is, it does feel thick. We will see if it is the mem. We have not received a mem uh, memorabilia card yet, so I would assume this is it. The box does protect itself by saying on average, so it's not guaranteed. But let's see. Yep, we got a thickie. Wouldn't it be cool if it was a mem and an auto? That would be cool. Okay, if you can see right there, there it is, it's thick. Let's see what we got. Got the one of the goats, undefeated Khabib, Justin Gaethje, his last fight, Ryan Hall, we already got a, what did we get, a silver? Derek Brunson, that's who I got my auto in this series on. I think it's called Signature Series. Whaley. Shogun. Sterling the Champ. Izzy. Champ. Kenzie Dern's another one that's could be in the conversation. Okay. Yuana. Okay, now let's uh you wanna did get a retire? Don't know. What way? I'm guessing this is on backwards, so let's just not look. Not look. I'm gonna flip around. Okay, so I don't know, like you guys don't know. I think it's this way. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. It looks like a shaved head. Is that could be? That'd be nice. That is Khabib. That is Khabib. Cool. Octagon royalty. And what do we got? What do we got? Oh, geez. This is out of 10. Octagon royalty. Look at that. Oh, geez. The back has a little wear on the top left-hand corner. I don't know if you can see that. Right in that top left-hand corner, there's some wear, I think. I don't know if that's part of the card print, but that looks like some wear. The enclosed fighter-worn used material is guaranteed by Panini. I don't know if that's part of his... That's three out of 10. That's three out of 10. That is a good hit. Okay, we're gonna pause for a second and we're gonna see if we can get a comp. I mean, let's see. We're gonna put this in a sleeve. Get some thicker sleeves. to kind of preserve the um, the card. There we go. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. Give me a second while I go grab my phone. Rip that thing right out of the charging cord. Okay, let's, let's not take too, too long here. Okay, okay, okay. And what is this? Octagon Royalty. Octagon Royalty.
So just the standard card is going for $35 to $79.99. I see a Ferguson, the same thing. And it's going for $130. Jury or Yuri is going for $325 out of 10. I would assume. I don't know, I would assume this is a, a two, three hundred dollar card. So that's not a bad hit. That's not a bad hit. Khabib at a ten, three of ten. And we got the the redemption that's three hundred, so spend two, three hundred bucks and we we could sell those two for probably around six hundred dollars. So very nice. Very, very nice. Here's our rated rookie Paul Craig. I feel like we got one of those already. I kind of feel like I was disrespectful to Joanna, but there's Joanna. Off to retirement. Press proof, Rose. Thug Rose. Thug's, uh, Rose is one of my favorite fighters, too, on the female side. And uh, this felt like her last fight was just, just wasn't there. And Hooker on the press proof, we got a... Craftsman, Connor McGregor. Got a retro series, Kane Velasquez. And we got a Magician's, Nate Diaz. Okay, so we are finishing up here. This was not a bad hit. I'm, man, that could be really made, really made me happy. We had a, a good one there. Could you imagine if that was a signature? Ooh, signature. Ooh, Curtis Blades. Another one that'll be probably in the conversation here. This guy's been in the game for a while. Tim Means, I believe he has a fight coming up too. Jill Watterson. What is she, the Karate Hottie, I think, is her nickname. Macy. And two more cards. Two more cards. Who are the two? We got Ryan Span. Ryan Span. And we got Clay Guida. Oldies. Okay, so we'll end it there. Um, what are my thoughts? What are my thoughts? Um, I won't be getting any more of these. I have enough. We have a bunch of just base cards now, and I'm gonna have to store these. So I won't get any more of these. Um, fun rip as far as just getting a bunch of cards. Like I said, I think it's two, three hundred bucks for the box, so not crazy. Cra Maybe it's two hundred dollars, um, but not crazy expensive. I'm a little bit more inclined to say to get it just because I uh, did I did well between the Khabib out of ten, uh, the Cortez, which is another hundred dollar card. At least it looks like out of 99 and then we got the redemption Mazar Mozar Mozar um, rated rookie signature hollow laser I'm seeing these go for 300 bucks so um, I'm a little biased right now as far as like feeling better on this but I could easily see it me not getting this and losing <laughs> losing money very very easily so um, it's not premium, obviously, but it's a fun a fun rip if you want to do that, perfect. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to our next one. I don't know what we're doing. I think we're doing basketball. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But I have some other videos I have to start editing to get out there. But thanks for watching. If you're a collector, good luck on your next rip. And I will talk to you later. Peace.